we're gonna keep this hair a little bit longer the back as you can see the coins is long and the, the shaggy hair usually they have more laces inside here so the layers is internally you have to give a lace inside so what I mean internally uh, let's say you can cut by the way you can cut it with a blade you can cut it with the scissors you can cut in different way as well so we're taking one small section as a guideline you're holding the hair you're going up to around 65 degree angle and then you're going very gentle And then so that's still keep the length but it gives a lot of layers inside internally again we take another section you can do with scissors if I try to do with scissors so we go in each section this is coming out so if you try to keep this section backward, you keep in the front longer. It depends how you want to go. And that's how we're gonna go for. With this haircut. The color I have used today, I have used the Formese Caramel and also I have used the, uh, that is the 7KR uh, and the two colors is there and the blonde one, I used the 1035 from the Glamour color. So we go in small section small section roughly we know where this is our lace is going to be and then go down to not take it too much from it now again you're taking this one holding the hair up and then go down Taking one section, Hello. up, and then go down. So that way you keep in the length still longer, and same times you have some short laces inside. Now you can put this one clip. Flip. Now we're gonna go, as you can see here, again, take one section. Divide that in the middle first. Half a section there, half sections here. Exactly the same. Now, as you know, this here is a shorter. So again, we're gonna make shorter here and longer. So shorter underneath it, longer on top, shorter on top, longer. Again, we go in up. And down. This way, also your color, it wouldn't get destroyed either. So Amanda, hello darling, good morning. We're taking the same section. Now we're taking the second section. Mm -hmm. 
up and coming down as you can see the length is long but when you go underneath it that's what we say in internally they have a short layers so the two different layers are sitting on top of each other so what that's going to do uh, two reasons behind it one you keep in the hair uh, the length long the second one to give more volume to the hair that shaggy hair is really is just going to look nice and volume uh, what scissors are you using i'm using the tony and guy scissors uh, when i was going to tony and guy academy i have bought uh, this one as you know i have been to tony and guy academy for my training for several years Now you can already see this one, the layers start showing itself and the hair underneath it is really nice and long. The other things I was going to say is about the color. When you're doing this kind of haircut, making sure they highlight the way you're putting inside the hair is not striking. Because if you do that and once you start cutting this hair, it will, trust me, it will look all line and that line, it will destroy your haircut and destroy the color. So obviously where the colors doesn't look good, then the haircut is not gonna look good. For that reasons, make sure that you add in the colors in different diagonal. So when the colors start, when you're cutting the hair, that color start looking much better. So the, if I give you a better example, especially if you're doing the bob haircut, can you imagine you put in all foil nicely, and if you go back nice and short, then all that will look like a zebra. Tup, 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 step, step, step. So for that reason, make sure that the color when you put in, think about the haircut, what kind of haircut I'm gonna be doing, so it's not affecting my color. So the haircut doesn't affect my color. Now, I'm gonna go the same kind of part here as you can see here the length is coming longer to shorter so you can keep here longer if you want to leave the front a little bit longer you can do that but uh, first of all I will take half of the section do it exactly the same technique Taking one small section, always the small section is necessity, guys. It's very, very important. So you're taking it and then up and go down and bring it down. So it's important to not take it from the length. Really, really, that is important. Again, take another section. Now the front one, I'm gonna leave it as it is. When I come to this part, however, we're gonna do a little bit backward diagonal. So taking section like this, backward diagonal, holding the head backward and doing it up and down. <coughs> up and down. Now, you know, the one things, the one things in, in the haircut. So this is no kind of you doing wrong way or this is wrong, this is right. Of course, you have some haircut you can do wrong way. For example, uh, for example, if you're doing again the bob haircut, the bob haircut, you start from forward diagonal. Like I think when you're sectioning the hair from the back, you're making a V. So you're making like this, you're making like that. So the section is just coming like that. So what's that mean? Every time you go, your section is going like this. Section is going like that. So if you imagine this sections here now, it's just going like this, it's going like this. So let me show you. It's going like this. If you start after you blow dry the hair, and then 
instead of section like this and cutting it, so uh, forward is longer, back is shorter. If you take it opposite, backward diagonal, so it's like this, then that is where your haircut can go wrong. Because what you're doing then, you're making the front shorter and keeping the back longer. That's where you have to keep your section correctly to the haircut. So otherwise, some haircut, you take a straight, you take diagonal, backward, forward, as long as you do both sides similarity, then it wouldn't affect the haircut. But in, with the bob haircut, however, it will be different. We're gonna do exactly the same here as well. Look, uh, my aim in the haircut, in the hairdressing, is really always to make it easier for you how you can cut it in your salon and to make it easy, everybody, they can pass it to each other. Now, Pushpa, hello, Sahlin. Pushpa, she's uh, from, I think Pushpa, she's from India. Uh, hi, Pushpa. I can't speak uh, Punjabi. Uh, maybe I speak Urdu. Or not Punjabi. Yeah. Again, up and down. Bring it, internal layer, layering, and leave the front as it is. And again, we're doing the same things as here. Thank you very much, guys. It's, it's been a while since we're doing this live video haircut. I think every time, if I'm doing now some haircut online, it's not just about the haircut. I like to give you some things slightly different. But as I said, my aim in hairdressing as an educator, I like to give you something simple step. I'm not trying to make it harder for you. I'm trying to make it easier for you. So, uh, which I think is nothing worse than complicating the stuff. Because if we have some things easy we can do, then why not do it in easy way? Because if you do the easy way, you can teach the people next to you in your salon, so they can do it as well. The Tony, the Tony and Guy methodo, uh, methodo, methodology, the, what they did, the everything they have thought, the same steps, simple steps, so the other stuff they're gonna do in the salon, that's why become very popular uh, methodology. For that reasons now, we're using a from AZ, uh, and every company, they're using their own technique, own step, how they can teach the salons to make it easy, everybody to learn from each other, and that is the, magic behind hairdressing. So, now when you come to the top section, you have several different ways to cut it. Either you can just chip the end of the hair to make it nice. Do it this way. Or you can do it backwards, leave it the front longer and to go like this and just cut straight. Take it and cut straight. Take it and leave it straight. Can you see, I'm just cutting the, the back shorter and front longer because when this hair is go forward, it's gonna really give that kind of the fringe more heavy, like a pixie fringe, and also all that shaggy long. So the front is more longer, the fringe is longer, but the, the back is short, layery, and this is gonna look fabulous. Uh, Amanda, you're absolutely welcome. I love teaching, I love to share the knowledge with other hairdressers because it's important. I think it's important. You know, uh, if you look why Apple is so successful, Apple, why so successful? If you go to Apple, they are doing a lot of free training because the more people they learn, the more people they go buy their product because that is the aim. You have to teach people how to do it and then the people that will come by from you, the people that know how good you are or how, what, what the service you're doing, how good this service is. So it's knowledge, the knowledge only it's good when you're implementing it, when you're sharing it. The knowledge is mean nothing when you have with yourself and you take to the, uh, uh, what they call, 
the cemetery if you die. It means nothing. If you put barley with you in the coffin, what are you going to do with that knowledge? The gods don't need that knowledge. The god has more knowledge than you. So don't need it. So use it, guys. Use it. Share it together. In it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. At least Amanda does agree with me. Again? Now, when it says come to the fringe, because my beautiful lady, she says, I don't want um, my husband see my face in the morning when I'm doing a haircut. That's why I'm not showing the uh, face of uh, this beautiful lady. So the fringe wise, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Usually, that if, if it's part in says here, give that triangle, and that triangle, when it says come, make, uh, the, if you're gonna go for wide fringe, you can go on the corner of the eyebrows, but if you're gonna go for softer fringe, the vertex, which is just uh, put your finger to the uh, forehead, front, and to the crown, the, the fingers is coming in the middle, just uh, one centimeter to the front, that's called vertex. So the vertex is here, the forehead, from the vertex, and you divide in the, uh, the to the triangle to the middle of the eyebrows, middle of the eyebrows. That way, you will get perfect, nice fringe. It's not too wide, it's not too big, and it's just really very effective. But if you want a wider one, then from the vertex, instead of middle of eyebrows, just go to the corner of the eyebrows, and that is also will give you perfect fringe. If you want to have uh, straight fringe. So you know now where to divide your fringe, let's say vertex to the middle of the eyebrows or vertex to the end of the eyebrows. Just bring your fringe down straight and then cut it. Can you see how perfect this is coming to my eyes? If you do that, if you do like this, if the hair, all the hair is like this, then that fringe, the end, it will become a little bit more soft. If you bring the fringe all in the middle here, uh, like it's coming like this and you cut it nice and straight then when you leave it it's going to become rounded it's going to become round if you hold the fringe and divide it here to bring here nice and straight and bring here nice and straight then that fringe is going to become more rounded if you bring the fringe same in the middle and put as an x on top of each other and then cut it like this cut it like that that fringe is going to become more rounded like this. So they have several different ways you can cut that fringe and to make sexy guys. Yeah, so, yeah. No, this is all right. Now I'm going to blow dry this hair. Uh, I will come back later. Kolay gelsin. Yalnız kurt benim devrem arkadaşım. Uh, so if you have any question, please let me know. I'm going to blow dry this hair and I'm going to come back with result uh, with this beautiful color and it's going to look amazing. Ciao. Thank you very, very much. Yes, that X is a few days ago. Uh, I was doing it the other day. It's, it's really, really nice and effective. You can do that X and cut it that way. It's beautiful. But make sure if you bring it that like X is to here. So I think you brought this one to this side. So whatever this is gonna go, cut it and cut it. So leave the hairs there and then just cut it and then cut it. Then once you start combing down, then you will see exactly same way is perfect. And then it's not only that for the, uh, God, this mask is just, blood is just terrible. It's uh, not only for the fringe, if you do it every section afterward, you bring it down, you bring it down, you bring it down, you bring it down, and then the whole head of front is going to be feathered. It's going to look amazing feathered front. So try it and see, and then you're going to say, Billy, you are a genius. See you later, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your comment. I appreciate and really love you all. Uh, and I'll see you later. Bye.